Hello, today I want to show you how you can generate useful energy from a thermoelectric module like this one just from the body heat. So this is a thermoelectric module that generates roughly around some millivolts when I put my hand on. If I remove my hand and the temperature stabilizes between the both sides, the energy stops being produced. Roughly speaking, each of these modules can generate around 20 millivolts and 20 milliamperes of current when applied the difference between both layers of just one volt, or oh sorry, one degree. So, this can be enough just to power up an LED. This circuit here converts from 20 millivolts to around 0.5 volts to power a high luminosity LED. What I have right here it's a pack it's a strip of five cells connected together so for example I can stick my hand inside put my hand inside like this and I will take it back this way and now Now I am able to generate enough electricity to power the LED. As you see there is no battery here. It's generating enough energy to power an LED and obviously it can be converted to 5 volts in order to power small devices. For example, this could be a very good design for a strip that recharges to your smartwatch. Here I have a small circuit that can convert and stabilize the energy of thermoelectric generators to 5 volts and then I have a USB connector that can power mobile phones and similar devices. So, of course, this module needs much more than 20 millivolts in order to generate 5 volts because it has an active component that needs at least 200 millivolts in order to start operating. So, later on I'm going to show you how this one works in a cold environment, but for the time being I'm going to use a nice in order to lower the temperature. As you can see here the LED is still lighting.
if I blow the LED will light brighter because the air cools down the external part of the modules generating a higher difference of temperature between them. Here I am back, it's so nice. So I'm going to connect this one this time. So this is the negative. This is the positive. And as you can see, it doesn't have enough power, the 200 millivolts needed to power the active component. However, if I take an ice and I put it here, hmm, still not enough. Yeah, well, that's enough to power the converter and output 5 volts. This is very bright LED, 5 volts. But it dims out as soon as the modules stop producing the needed 200 millivolts. This switch right here is made in order to short circuit the 5 volt output to an LED. What could be better to show that it's working? And what can be better than a phone connected to it? As you can see, there is no trick here. It's just one cable, and a phone. So obviously, it will not charge fully the phone, but it will trigger the phone to start charging. As soon as the phone starts charging, it will deplete the power in the condenser, and it will go back to not charging. However, you can see that it's actually producing 5 volts and it can actually load and charge a battery in a phone so, okay. got some notifications there doesn't matter you can see okay sorry got a problem but it's now, it's now connected, so I will show you. Okay, so there it is. You can see how it starts charging and turns itself on. When there is not enough power for that to be sustained, and then it turns back off. To try with another one. Yeah, that's it. There you can see. Obviously, it's much more evident when I unplug this. I turn on the LED system that it's generating 5 volts. This system can only generate 5 volts. This is why I know it's generating 5 volts because the LED is on. So that's it. This is how you can generate electricity from your thermal energy. I will put some diagrams probably after this video to show you how I build this stuff and also how much energy does this produce oh one more thing these are flat here but they don't need to be flat in fact they are made of small pellets 
and can take any shape. They could even be in a plastic strip. I mean, they don't need to be flat, so this can be fully ergonomic. And obviously, if they are connected in a proper manufacturing process, you, you wouldn't need this to be outside, obviously. Okay, hope you like it. Bye-bye.